Oliver, we are in Spain for the press launch of the new MT10. When we show the bike for the first time, it seems like it, this is a just, uh, let's say, just an R1 uh, without the fairing. But in reality, this is not true. Can you explain better how much is R1 and how much is an MT in this new bike? There is a lot of R1 in this bike, but we made some really significant uh, changes for the MT10. If you look at the chassis, it's a short wheelbase uh, layout race chassis, including a very compact, very powerful four-cylinder engine. And the four-cylinder engine actually is based on the legendary cross-plane uh, technology that we developed in the M1 that came to the R1 and now in the MT10 is in its latest development stage. In uh, this stage, we changed the cylinder head, the intake uh, assembly and the exhaust assembly to tune the bike from a high RPM race orientation to a very strong low and mid-range torque orientation. The chassis itself stayed almost the same than on the R1. The dimensions are almost the same. Mainframe, swing arm and suspension components are identical in terms of uh, component. Only the setting has been changed to be slightly more comfortable, yet keeping a very sporty character. The benefit of the R1 technology in the frame is that it is very stable, but also very agile in the same time. One of the bigger changes we made in the layout of the chassis was the fact that we moved the rider slightly more to the front, which had an influence on, first of all, the weight distribution, which is now very balanced, ideal for our purposes. And on the other hand, it gives you a very nice upright uh, riding position, you have a high eye point, a good view, you have good control over the relatively wide handlebar. Overall, this setup gives you really uh, great fun. It's an explosive bike, yet very easy to ride. So uh, quite an amazing uh, combination or setup. In Let's the say end. typical for the MT family. It is in the, in the complete DNA of the MT family with a great agility in the first place, great torque at low RPM in the first place. But surely this bike is adding also the element of speed because 160 horsepower brings you to another dimension of yeah. uh, speed. <laughs> so surely not just a bigger MT-09, it's opening the door to another dimension of, of uh, MT-series.